Hi, this is Steve Rybrook from Ledgeview Partners, and today I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about advanced finds and personal views. There is a prerequisite with this video, or before you get into advanced finds and personal views, is you have to have some knowledge of the CRM files, because you need to know the different fields that are in those files and what those files even are, because otherwise you're not going to you're not going to be able to use them very successfully. And the reason you'd want to use advanced find or personal views is if you want to analyze your CRM data or you want to create an easy way to access your CRM data. So as we go through advanced find, you're going to find out that one of the things you have to answer is or pick is the file that you want to look at. And then you define your filter your filters, which is our, are your rules on you know what records you want to include from that file. And then you can define which columns and how you want the results sorted. Along with that, you can decide if you just need this one-time answer. So you could do an advanced find, get your answer, and be done. Or if you went through all that work and you know that question is going to come up again and you're going to want to access that data you know, on a daily basis, you can save that definition and that is referred to as a personal view. And then if you know others in your company would be interested in looking at the data that way, you can share that personal view and it will show up as a view for them. So let's jump right in and make a personal view and see if that's something that's interest uh, of interest for you. So I'm in the application. I'm in, um, looks like I'm in opportunities right now. So the way you would do an advanced find is you'll see throughout CRM there's this advanced find button. And what I encourage folks to do is if you're going to do an advanced find over opportunities, I would just jump to opportunities first. It just saves you a little step. Um, it makes it a little bit cleaner for me. That's just kind of the way I'm wired. But you can really hit advanced find here and do advanced find over any file. So the reason I suggest you do it here is you're probably looking at opportunities going, geez, we have dozens and maybe hundreds of open opportunities. I wish I had a list of just my opportunities that let's say we're in sales stage three. I'm just really interested in those that are really getting close to finishing. So you could do that with an advanced find. So I'm going to hit advanced find and we'll go through kind of how this screen looks. So if it's the first time, it looks very foreign to you. But once you get used to this, if you do this often enough, it will become very straightforward, very familiar. So the first box is, what file are you going to do an advanced find over? And the reason that uh, I suggested you get to the part of CRM that you're interested in is it defaults to the screen you're on. So it already knows I want to look in opportunities. But if I click this drop down, these are all the files that are in your CRM system. And you probably only use about 10% of them, but there's lots of files. So we're just going to stick with opportunities. And then the next column over here to the right is it says use saved view. And that's defaulting to the view I had open when I was in my opportunities. As you recall, I was looking at I was looking at the open opportunities before I jumped in here. So that's the this right here are the rules for the open opportunities view. So it kind of just gives me a starting point. It looks at status equal to open. That's the only rule for open opportunities. So I've already uh, got part of my stuff done here. So the next thing I'm going to do is work on my filters or my selects. So to to add another select to to implement that rule of I only want those in sales stage three. I just hover over the select box and it gives me this drop down and if I click on that it gives me all the fields in the opportunity file. So I'm just going to look for sales stage. So there's sales stage. Then the next thing I want to do is look at you know the operand. So these are all the choices and depending on what type of field this is you're going to get different results, different options here. So if this were a date field this would not look the same. So this happens to be a sales stage field. So equal to, if I click this lookup, 
it knows that that only has certain values so that lets me pick right from this list so I can just highlight that and put that over here in my selected values hit OK and that might be all the rules I need right there so the next button I want to show you is this um, is this results button and what this is going to do is going to show me what the results are of this selection. So if I hit results, it should be a should be a much smaller list than the list we were looking at before. And sure enough, it's I'm down to four opportunities. And boy, it would be nice if I could just pull up this list every day and just see which ones are in sales stage three. So this is what it looked like. I could be done right here. But I see what's on here. It looks like it picked some of the same columns that were on the original view and I see estimated units, estimated revenue, but I don't see estimated gross profit. So I need to jump back to this advanced find tab and the next button I want to show you is this edit column. And what that's going to do is show me all the columns that are currently on the view and if I want to add one I just click over here to add column and I'm going to scroll down to estimate, uh, estimated gross profit. And when I add that one, it puts it on the very end. Well, I want that thing to be way over here next to department. So if that one has the green box around it, that's the one that's going to work with these arrows. So if I click this arrow over, it's just going to move this to the left. And that's right where I want it. Another thing I can do while I'm here is remove a column. So if I didn't want department, I could have that highlighted. I could just hit remove. Now I happen to want that on there, so I'm not going to do it. Um, another thing I can do is I can configure the sorting. Right now this is sorted by topic. I wanted this. I want this sorted by estimated gross profit, you know, highest to lowest. So I can do that and hit OK. I can hit OK again, and now I'm back here. Now I can check out my results. So I'm just kind of playing with it. You know, you add fields, change fields, maybe change your filter. I'm just going back and forth, just kind of playing with the data here. So now there's estimated gross profit I've added, and sure enough, it's sorted from highest to lowest by estimated gross profit. All right, pretty cool. So I'm just going to jump back to talk about the advanced find tab for just a few more minutes, because this can get pretty sophisticated. And for those of you who are into you know really sophisticated rules I can select maybe uh, this row and this row now they're both selected and then I can group them let's say with an or condition the default would be all these rules have to be met so by default these are all you know this has got to be true and this has got to be true well if I said group this as an or any opportunity that has a status of open or has a sales stage equal to three is going to be on my list. Well, that doesn't really make sense to do that, but I just want to demonstrate how you could do an or. So I'm just going to ungroup these. So that controls these. Um, we talked about edit the columns. We've covered quite a bit of what's on here already. So I think I'm ready to be comfortable with and I want to save this thing. So this is where I hit the save as. So if I hit save as, it's it's going to ask for a name and I would be really careful with how you name these because as you do these you're going to want these to be as description descriptive as possible so for me this is open opportunities in sales stage three I mean that's exactly what meets my filter here so the more descriptive you get I would think the better so if I save that and then I close out of here if I go into my let's say I was in CRM and I was in my leads and I jumped over to opportunities and I click this drop down for all my different views now I have under my views open opportunities in sales stage 3 so I can quickly just click on that and boom there's my list I don't have to create that every time so let's say um, that I wanted to make a change to this. A lot of people probably make the assumption that well I'm on this view I can just start making changes to it. Well really right here you're just using your view. So what you need to do is go into advanced find just like when we started and go into your saved views. That's what this button is and it will give you your list of your views. 
And then I can double click it and open it up and here's where I could make changes. So another thing I wanted to show you under this edit columns is if some of these columns were too wide or not wide enough, if you click on it, you can change the properties. And one of the things is how many pixels does it use up? So I could make maybe the topic a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to say okay on that. I could say show me the results again and now I just made it a little, the column a little bit smaller. So if I'm done with that, I'm going to go back to saved views. Actually, I don't think I saved that, so I'm just going to save that. So if I go back to save views, the other thing I want to show you is if you made this view and you had other people in your organization, you wanted to save them time, you know they could use this view, you can go into your saved views and when you have whichever ones you have highlighted you can hit the share button and then you can add users to that list so I could share them let's say with Chuck and Dean if I hit add share it with them the default is that they can just use they can just read that view but if I want to let them make changes to the view or even delete it if they wanted to or if I wanted them to be able to share it with others I could I could do that as well I would say in most cases, most people are going to create the view. They're just going to share it with someone else and let them use it. Because otherwise you have too many people with their hands in it making changes to it. So I'm not going to share this one. I'm just going to cancel out. But you just hit OK. And then when Chuck and Dean would go into CRM, if they would go into Opportunities and click this uh, Look Up for Filter, for, uh, views they would see it on their list of of views I also want to point out that I'm in the web version of CRM if you're on the Outlook client it does look a little bit different but the concept is the same okay so let's just jump back and see if we covered everything so I think you can realize why you need to know about your files before you get into this uh, we talked about picking the files picking your filters picking your columns if you just got your answer, you could just have been done and not saved it. But if you wanted to save that as a personal view, you can do that. And then you can share that with others. So hopefully, um, if you're really into the data and can find uses for others to really get into it and make it easier for them to access, I think Advanced Find and Personal Views is a really nice tool within CRM. We continue to evolve the energy distribution solution for CRM with dashboards and reports and views but we can never come up with everything every single business needs so as you come up with your needs feel free to create some advanced find advanced use advanced find to make some personal views and get your team to be even more efficient so thanks for listening hopefully it was value and have a great day